Hi, Big Tractor Power fans. In this video, I would like to share with you some Agco brand history that connects the Gleaner Combine, Massey Ferguson Combine, and Challenger Combine lines together. From 2003 through 2019, the company manufactured a series of axial-style rotor combines in Heston, Kansas, that used a common platform and during that time period saw Massey Ferguson, Challenger, and Gleaner combines produced together and offered through the dealership network from Agco. Massey Ferguson's single style axial rotor became the basis for the Massey Ferguson, Gleaner A series, and Challenger combines manufactured over the past two decades. Massey first entered the self-propelled combine market in 1938. By the early 1940s, the Massey-Harris Clipper Combine quickly established a worldwide reputation with the Harvest Brigade that fed the world through its harvesting abilities. By the 1980s, rotary combines were becoming the mainstream feature in the harvesting market. Their immense threshing capacity really attracted farmers' attention. White Farm Equipment introduced its 9700 Axial Harvest Boss in 1979. This 248 horsepower, 265 bushel combine was one of the largest combines on the market in the early 1980s. During this time period, the farm equipment market fell on hard times as the agriculture markets plummeted, and White Farm Equipment ended up selling its axial style design to Massey Ferguson. Both Massey and White Farm Equipment built combines in Brantford, Ontario, and it was an easy transfer of production. The agriculture downturn of the 1980s lasted many years, and Massey Ferguson, almost as soon as it acquired the axial style rotary combine, found itself spinning off its combine division to form Massey Combines Corporation. This company did not last very long, and soon it was developed into Western Combines. In 1990, the Alice Gleaner Corporation, Agco, was formed from the remnants of Deutz Alice. Soon, there were Agco Alice and Agco Gleaner Combines, followed by the acquisition of Massey Ferguson in 1994, and then Western Combines in 1996 by the Agco Corporation. Agco replaced the Western name with Massey Ferguson and production transferred from Canada to Heston, Kansas after the 1996 acquisition. Agco began producing its axial style rotary combine under the Massey Ferguson name and continued into the 2000s with this popular combine design. Now that you know a little bit more about Massey Ferguson and Agco's connection to these combines, let's head out to the field with one of the larger machines manufactured by the company in the past decade, the Model 9560. Then we'll take a look at the Gleaner and Challenger connections to this combine design.
Another well-known Agco Combine brand is Gleaner. The Baldwin brothers introduced the world's first self-propelled combine in 1923 and named it Gleaner. In 1955, Alice Chalmers acquired Baldwin Gleaner and continued the production of the well-known Silver Combines. In 1979, Alice Chalmers introduced its first rotary combine through the Gleaner division. This combine had a transverse rotor, which means the rotor has a natural flow of crop going through it as it sits across the width of the combine, where the axial style rotor found in the Massey Ferguson runs the length of the machine. The natural flow transverse rotary gleaner combine has a unique design, not only in its threshing system, but also in its unloading from the grain bin. This combine has a pivot style auger mounted at the base of the grain bin. In 1985, Alice Chalmers sold its farm equipment division, including gleaner, to Deutz Farr. A new company called Deutz Alice was formed in 1990, the corporate management of Deutz Alice bought out the company and formed a new brand called Alice Gleaner Corporation, or Agco. The Gleaner Natural Flow Rotor Combine became the top-selling model for the new company through the 1990s. At the start of the 21st century, Agco was looking to further expand its combine sales and offerings, and the Gleaner Natural Flow Rotary Combine has a strong following in the wheat belt and the corn belt, but it does not have strong sales in the southern United States where rice is grown, and the company thought by taking the Massey Ferguson Axial Style Rotary Combine and offering it through Agco dealers, Gleaner Combine sales could further be expanded with the option of either natural flow or axial style rotary machines. In August of 2006, Agco introduced the A-Series Gleaner Combine at its annual dealer meeting held in St. Louis, Missouri. The A-Series are based on the Massey Ferguson axial style rotor design and were built right alongside Gleaner's traditional natural flow rotor machines in Heston, Kansas. The purpose of bringing on two different rotary designs was to expand Gleaner sales in the southern United States and also hopefully attract customers that might be running a Case IH or John Deere combine that have that traditional single rotor that runs the length of the machine. The first generation of axial style rotary Gleaner combines were the A5 series, which were upgraded to the A6 series in 2009 and manufactured through 2011. In that year, Agco decided to consolidate many of its brands to focus on the core brands that were well known around the world. The company decided to retire its line of orange Agco branded tractors, which also saw the retirement of the A-Series Gleaner Combine. In the year 2000, Agco was offering 22 different brands of farm equipment, and it became necessary to begin consolidating and focusing on key brands that the company could sell in the global market. In the next segment of this video, we'll head out to the field so that you can see and hear an Agco Gleaner A86 combine harvesting corn. This was the largest machine offered in the A-Series.
Challenger brand name was introduced in 1987 when Caterpillar launched the world's first rubber tracked tractor, the Model 65. As the popularity of the Track Challenger tractors grew, Caterpillar looked to expand its presence in the agriculture market and in 1998 contracted with Kloss to release the Lexian Combine in the United States through Caterpillar dealers painted in the traditional cat yellow. In December of 2001, Caterpillar decided to exit the farm equipment market and sold its agriculture division to Agco. Agco was looking to expand its high horsepower range of tractors and also saw the Challenger brand name as a way to expand its overall product line. As Caterpillar exited the farm equipment market and Agco took over the Challenger line, the Lexian Combine, built by Kloss, continued to be sold and distributed in the United States directly by Kloss through participating Caterpillar dealers. With the separation of Challenger tractors and Lexian Combines after the sale of Caterpillar's farm equipment division, Agco sought to offer Challenger as a full product line. To fill the combine gap, Agco went to its Massey Ferguson combine division and offered that axial style rotary combine in yellow as a Challenger machine starting in 2003. By the middle of the first decade of the 21st century, Agco had greatly expanded its combine offering. Customers could order the axial style rotary combine in red as a Massey Ferguson, in silver as a Gleaner, and in yellow as a Challenger combine. Challenger combines remained in production through model year 2019. Now let's head out to the field so that you can see and hear a Challenger 560C combine at work. I hope that you've enjoyed learning about some of Agco's combine history through this video and seeing the connections that Massey Ferguson, Gleaner, and Challenger combines have had over the past two decades. The farm equipment market is always evolving and Agco continues to look at ways to improve their machines and meet customer needs. In the year 2020, the company decided to retire the Massey Ferguson axial style rotor combine and move towards a twin rotor machine. The ideal combine was introduced in 2018 in North America and offers a single rotor design in its class 7 machine and twin rotors in its class 8, 9, and 10 combines. The ideal combine range offers machines from 400 to 485 bushels and power ratings from 376 to 581 horsepower. In addition to the ideal combine, Agco continues to offer the Gleaner Natural Flow Transverse Rotary Combine in Class 6, 7, and 8 machines from 332 to 430 horsepower with 390 bushel grain bins. Gleaner is close to celebrating its 100th anniversary in combine production in the year 2023. I hope that you've enjoyed spending some time out in the field hearing and seeing these Agco branded combines at work. 
I'd like to hear in the comment section below if your farming operation uses a Massey Ferguson, Gleaner, or Challenger combine, or another brand of combine in Agco's history. If you've enjoyed the video, consider subscribing to Big Tractor Power YouTube, where there are over 2,000 videos of farm machines in action. If you would like to see additional harvesting content here on the channel, continue to watch the video for a few more seconds to the end screen to see more Big Tractor Power YouTube videos. As always, thank you for watching.